year, and that'll be presented then by Alberto. We published a Spanish language paper with a circulation of 130,000. This is our 15 year anniversary. And we are in Los Angeles, Orange County, and in Inland Empire. It's a penny shopper. Mostly classifies a lot of display ads that service the community. Well, the Small Business Administration, although we've never gotten a loan per se from the organization, we publish a lot of what they do for the community. They provide a lot of uh, services to the community. They offer classes, and we often publish this in El Clasificado. This will be the first year that we probably will be getting an SBA loan because we plan to expand into facilities that might be triple the size. Well, I think our product really does something good for the community. We offer uh, affordable advertising to a lot of small entrepreneurs, small businesses. Uh, with a $15 classified, many of our businesses are able to sustain a substantial uh, income. Well, it's funny, I often tell a story how I never wanted to be an entrepreneur. I saw a need. I was a CPA at Arthur Young, saw the Hispanic market growing. I went to uh, work for the largest Spanish newspaper in the country. Because of the Hispanic market, I thought that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. I didn't. I saw a need for a free publication that reaches uh, all the community of Los Angeles and it provides the classifieds, the editorial, nothing lengthy, something they can read quickly on their way to work. I saw a need, people said I should do it, and I did. I had many colleagues from other uh, publications who want to start an El Clasificado in Chicago and Miami. Well, I'd rather do it ourselves. I think there was a time where I said, I don't want to do anything outside of LA. I'm exhausted. But I've been re-energized, and I think our company has too. And I think the growth of our management team, we've been putting them through training, and what they've been able to do, even though they're very young and many haven't worked anywhere else, I know with them, we can go anywhere. We're uh, especially proud to present to you Thank you. I am very honored to be receiving this award on behalf of El Clasificado and all those who have worked with such a passion to make it successful. I'd like to thank the LA Chamber of Commerce for hosting this wonderful event. I'd like to thank NAVO and Team CFO for their nomination. I'd like to also thank the SBA for its programs that help to develop the growth and promote the success of small business, especially in the Latino community. And a special thanks to Hector Barreto for inspiring me personally to reach higher and do more for the community. The road here hasn't been easy. During the first 10 years of El Clasificado, I had essentially given up on success, just looked forward to surviving and meeting payroll, and was grateful I still had a husband, my family, and some friends left. Now El Clasificado is a successful company with 75 employees. So how did an undercapitalized company become a company that employees call the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory because we love our product and we love making our product? I'm fortunate that my parents inspired me with their work ethic and family values. They made a comfortable life for their children and showed us that this was the land of opportunity as long as you do your part to open the door. In our home, that meant doing well in school, being a good citizen, and going to college. I am very lucky that college for me was Loyola Marymount. A paradise, <laughs> a paradise where character, ethics, and moral standards were embodied within our academic challenges. Thank you, LMU, for giving me the education, the business, and life skills that have been the underlying foundation of my entrepreneurial success. I am also grateful for my years at Arthur Young, where with the help of many experienced minds and mentors, I was transformed into a business person, economic advisor, problem solver, and team manager. Without this valued experience, I could not have worked through the challenges of being an entrepreneur. I had never planned on being an entrepreneur, but saw the growing Latino community and how many products successfully offered in English were not available in Spanish. Someone should publish a penny saver in Spanish, I thought, with consumer tips on parenting, health, and education. Well, finally, I did. I was to be the sweat equity investor, but the cash investors went bankrupt. Having already been bit by the entrepreneurial bug, I could not help but plunge forward. 
We raised capital and borrowed money from family and friends. For 10 years we struggled. Didn't take a salary, but we survived. We had a good idea, but had to find the right model. We had the time to find the right model because of the emotional and financial support of family, friends, and employees who believed in what we were doing. I am grateful to my parents for finally saying they wouldn't loan me any more money, but would work without pay. I thank my mother, who came to help in the office daily, who delivered magazines in Wilmington in her high heels. And once, when the state comp auditor came for a surprise visit, she signed the required statement using the officious title of mother. <laughs> I thank my father, who equally has been generous with his support, learned to use the PC to type our editorials, also helped with distribution and caused our competitors to call and ask how much we pay our distributors when my father was seen in Lennox delivering magazines in his Mercedes Benz. <laughs> I thank my brothers, who like the Three Musketeers, jumped in to help with money, technology, and overall emotional support. I thank all our fantastic employees, especially those loyal employees from the early years, who often went home on Fridays without a paycheck, but kept coming back on Monday with passion and optimism that things would get better. I remember once my husband frustrated that we had no money to pay one of our oldest employees, Julio Garcia, gave him a favorite fishing pole. I guess so he could have fish for dinner. <laughs> Julio, once a distributor, is now our production manager and a proud homeowner. I thank our young high school students who we began to recruit from Garfield High. Elaine Sanchez, the first of these student employees, came to work the day before her 16th birthday back in 1993 with her baggy pants and t-shirt. My husband shook his head and said, she'll never last and probably will just be trouble. She now is our Director of Administration and Accounting, practically runs the office, is a college graduate, has passed most of the CPA exam, is a homeowner, and is only 25 years old. We now can afford to hire experienced personnel and consultants. I thank all of you who have brought maturity, experience, and valid knowledge, valued knowledge to help convert El Clasificado from a mom and pop operation to an established business with a strong infrastructure ready for unlimited growth. And last but not least, I thank my husband, Joe Badami, who in 1988 became the reluctant entrepreneur. He kept his day job to find our cash shortages, to fund our cash shortages worked at night and weekends to help monitor operations. He spent his 30th birthday alone driving past midnight taking our proof to the printer. I can't say he never complained. He often begged me to quit and take the company bankrupt. But even so, he has been my pillar of strength and energy. El Clasificado's biggest fan, who always inspires our employees with his good humor, patience, and marvelous mind. All of us at El Clasificado are now happy that after 13 years, Joe no longer has to have two jobs. El Clasificado is enough, and the old adage that two heads are better than one will certainly take our company to horizons never before dreamed of. Thank you, everyone, for your love, support, and inspiration in making El Clasificado a publication that the community loves, our customers praise, and our employees are proud to produce. God bless all of you and this great country for all its opportunities. Thank you. This honor is for you.